Well, hello, welcome to you. We have a bit of a winter wonderland. Look at the scene in front of us now. Not enough snow, I'm glad to report, to jeopardise the game, though we must keep our fingers crossed that it remains that way. There did have to be a pitch inspection, of course, but the referee was quite content that he would be able to make the requisite decision, see all of the pitch, all of the lines, as he needs indeed to do. So it is, despite this, though, very much business as usual. the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world and boy does it add to the occasion Dinamo Zagreb appear to be going with a 3-5-2 formation Jim. it's a setup that's been enjoying quite a renaissance in recent times and one that complements the counter attack very nicely with two strikers, two wing backs and potentially two runners from central midfield you can understand its attraction because it really can get the numbers into the opposition's box and equally it can get the numbers back into your own. As you can see we've already started here. Vida tries to locate someone up front. And it's Amrabat. Shapes to shoot! Stitch defending, but that'll do. EK Athens have a free kick. Well, you might think he got off lightly. It is just a verbal warning. AK Athens have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. Nice touch. Looking for a decent ball in. Lovely bit of skill. It's come through. forward quickly he's made sure that that won't get through until half time and it is still goalless through but certainly not for the want of trying it's been an interesting game up to now but still goals reflections on the first half well this